E. Grant. I know you're closer to the action. They've got drinks up here, okay? <sighs> They're all set. Here we go. It's time for a performance from an incredible actress singing Glasgow from her starring role in the film Wild Rose. Please welcome leading actress nominee, Jessie Buckley. I've worn out the stones in front of your doorstep Coming and going Kept the lights on, I always knew that I should have said thank you a thousand miles ago But I pushed you away, put a pin in a map and Then I got lost in the storm Hit under my bed Follow the bright light city of gold I had to leave to realize All I needed was here Mama, we both know that there's nothing That a little time and Patsy Cline couldn't fix debut is given in honor of Carl Foreman. To present it, I for one am very much enjoying their sex education, it's the fantastic Gillian Anderson and the brilliant Asa Butterfield. This is Asa's very first time at the BAFTAs. And, and Gillian said to help me deal with the nerves, I should imagine everyone naked. Mm -hmm. So. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oof, this feels a little bit wrong. It's perfectly ah, all right. Mum, shit. <sighs> what? That's no, all right. You'll get used to it. You'll get used to the shock. I'm not sure um, 
will get over the cod piece that Adam Driver's wearing. <laughs> Jim, we need to get the, okay. the nominations. Yes, the, um, the nominations are... We should just, just do it. Do what? Have a baby, you and me. Why not? You're being funny. I'm not. I'm being serious. Let's make a family. What's going on? No! I don't think we'll see boats going very far south this time. I was very clear that I was going to take a really southerly route, go as far south as possible. The fleet had given a rousing farewell as they chart the new port. And the BAFTA goes to... Mark Jenkin, Kate Byers, Lynn Waite for bait. We say at home. Um, yeah, I had a look at the to-do list at the beginning of the week, and about halfway down, it said write a BAFTA speech just in case. <laughs> and I thought, how the hell did we get here? And um, if you pardon the clumsy segue, it was on the back of a lot of other people's hard work. So, to start with, Lynn Waite and Kate Byers, the fantastic producers of the film. Our amazing cast and crew, many of whom are having BAFTA parties back home in Cornwall. Yes. Um, I won't pick anybody out. Well, I am going to pick some individuals out, um, cause, partly because they're here. But Ed Rowe, who is here, who, whose amazing central performance carries a lot of weight of the film. Um, Simon Shepard, whose fantastic performance, and I would never have met that wonderful man if it wasn't for this film. And Mary Woodvine, who, I'm going to cry is also my partner and is brilliant in the film, as she is in life. Um, you're going to have to feed me some information in a minute. Um, but, and also, just to say th um, thanks to the BFI, who, who, a BFI distribution, who decided that a black and white 16 millimeter hand-processed post-synced film in Academy Ratio about Cornish fisher, <laughs> fishing people was uh, a commercial proposition. <laughs> I certainly will be forever thankful. Um, thanks also to Kodak, School of Film and Television in Falmouth, and the Festival Agency. Thank you. Miraz, as we say in Cornwall. Cheers. Thank you. The award for Outstanding British Contribution to Cinema now, in honour of Michael Balkan. And to present this, uh, Richard III, Magneto and Gandalf together at last, please welcome the sweetheart that is his choice of adjective, Sir Ian McKellen! <laughs> The 
2017 an amazing night for them. And now we've come to the Fellowship Award, and to present it, it's a very special guest. Uh, we're incredibly lucky to have him here, although in fairness he only lives across the road. Uh, please welcome the Royal Highness, His Royal Highness, the Duke of Cambridge. Good evening, everybody. Uh, Catherine and I are once again really, really delighted to join you all this evening. Tonight, we celebrate another year of exceptional filmmaking, and I'm thrilled that all those involved have been recognised. I'm particularly proud to stand here tonight, having served as BAFTA's president for the last 10 years. However, I must admit, I don't know whether I should be proud or slightly alarmed about the number of winners over the last decade who have betrayed members of my own family. <laughs> Both here in the UK and in many other countries across the world, we are lucky to have incredible filmmakers, actors, producers, directors and technicians, men and women from all backgrounds and ethnicities enriching our lives through film. Yet in 2020, and not for the first time in the last few years, we find ourselves talking again about the need to do more to ensure diversity in the sector and in the awards process. That simply cannot be right in this day and age. I know that both Pippa, Chair of BAFTA, and Amanda, BAFTA CEO, share that frustration and continue to work tirelessly to ensure that creative talent is discovered and supported. BAFTA take this issue seriously and following this year's nominations, have launched a full and thorough review of the entire awards process to build on their existing work and ensure that opportunities are available to everyone. Now, back to the awards themselves. One of the great privileges I have as president is to present the fellowship, the highest honour the Academy can bestow. This year, the award goes to a simply legendary figure in film someone whose films I have been watching all my life and continue to watch time and time again. I couldn't be happier she is receiving this award. To tell you more about her remarkable career, please welcome Daisy Ridley and John Boyega. One film, 1917, was the big winner at the BAFTAs last night, taking seven prizes in total. Sir Sam Mendes' movie won the Best Film and Best Director awards, as well as one for cinematography. But the event faced criticism over its lack of diversity. Colin Patterson watched the ceremony. His report contains flash photography. And the BAFTA goes to 1917. The World War I epic 1917 dominated the BAFTAs, winning seven, including Best Director for Sir Sam Mendes and the big one, Best Film. Thank you, BAFTA, for giving us a really wonderful night. Thank you very, very much. And thank you for all the people who have gone to see this movie in the cinemas. It's still on. Um... <laughs> Much had been made of the fact that 20 out of 20 acting nominees at the BAFTAs were white and the BAFTA president for the last decade, Prince William, shared his frustration from the stage. We find ourselves talking again about the need to do more 
to ensure diversity in the sector and in the awards process. That simply cannot be right in this day and age. It was a theme which Joaquin Phoenix had spoken about when accepting his best actor for Joker. I think that it is the obligation of the people that have created and perpetuate and benefit